What's up guys, Takedown here, and for the past month I have stopped drinking Coca-Cola. So to start this off, I will share my soft drink intake for the past roughly five years. I have drank it before that, but about five years ago that's when it really took off for me. So I started my first job, I was working 9 to 5, Monday to Friday, and I would bring a can of soft drink, any type, Pepsi, Coke, whatever I could have. I would take a can of that to work in the morning and I would drink it before noon. So that'd be can number one. Can number two would be on lunch. I'd have lunch from one to two. I'd finish before going back to work. And then third can I would take back to work whenever I went back and I'd work for the rest of the afternoon until five. So that's about two to three hours on average. I drink the third Coke. And whenever I came home at night, I would drink my fourth Coke uh, while I was just relaxing at home. That was for about two months that I did that. So four cans a day, five days a week for two whole months over the summer going into the 12th grade. Going back to the 12th grade, every day for lunch, I would bring one can of pop, uh, pop, soft drink, or anything like I said, and then I'd have another can at night. In summer, I would just have one can a day, and then whenever I started full-time for about almost three years ago now, I'd have one can, of lunch, or one can at lunch, and I would have one can at home just whenever I got home to relax for the nights. So that's was extremely excessive that's a lot and i know there's some people that probably drink a lot more than that but i knew i needed a change but honestly didn't really have a reason for doing it and then i found my reason so when i started uh, last month that'd be march 11th roughly i decided i'm gonna cut coca-cola or any kind of soft drink out of my diet for the time being didn't have a reason for it i just wanted to do it for me two weeks later uh, well, I did that for about a week, week and a half, but what I replaced Coca-Cola and soft drinks with uh, was, I guess, Kool-Aid, but it wasn't Kool-Aid, it was some other brand, but still not healthy for you, not as bad as Kool-Aid, but still unhealthy for you. So I replaced it with that for about a week, week and a half, and then I knew I, I, I couldn't keep drinking that, so I started with just regular juices, water, stuff like that, and that's what I've stuck with the whole rest of the month and I'm really happy for that. I've even started making my own smoothies at home and stuff like that. So as you can imagine, this past month has been a complete struggle for me, especially for somebody that drank Coca-Cola and soft drinks all the time, every day of the week, multiple a day. And I didn't know if I could do it, but so far this month to the day, I have stopped drinking Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or any other type of soft drink. And honestly, I am extremely happy. I'm glad I started to do this. When I graduated high school, I was 220 pounds. Uh, I haven't weighed myself for about a year, and the last time I weighed myself, I was at 230, and I recently weighed myself, and I was at 240 pounds. I'm currently at the heaviest I've been in my entire life, and I'm kind of ashamed for it, and that right there is my motivation to keep going forward, to not go back to it, try to better my diet, better my life, be healthy, feel healthy, and that is my end goal of this whole experiment. So this was phase one, cutting Coca-Cola out of my life. And here are some of the results. I'm focusing more. I'm enjoying uh, doing more videos now. I'm focused, I can pay attention better. Uh, my sleep isn't there yet. That's about phase three. I wanna get back on a sleeping schedule, but I'm more awake during the day. I'm not exhausted like I once was. I wasn't expecting to do it. I honestly didn't think I could. I feel a lot better drinking water, juice, making smoothies. I have a smoothie sitting here that I made earlier. So this was phase one of me bettering myself and I wanted to document this, maybe not for the views, but just for myself to have proof that I've done it or attempted to do it, but I'm gonna keep going. So this was phase one. Phase two is gonna be eating healthier, which I've already started. I started buying a lot more fruit. We did occasionally have fruit in the house, but we never had too much. And I've literally bought a lot of fruit. I've been making smoothies every day for the past three days now, eating more fruits, eating healthier, um, cutting down on chips. I've had chips all the time. I'm cutting down on chips. I haven't cut that out of my diet yet. Phase two is going to be me eating healthier, me eating more fruits, more smoothies, more stuff at home, continuing to eat less uh, chips, eating out less, stuff like that. I don't eat out too much anymore anyways. You guys seen in my vlogs that I'd go occasionally to get a chicken wrap or a smoothie at McDonald's, but honestly, I've been making my own smoothies at home and they taste a hell of a lot better. You can actually taste the fruit instead of just the sugar, which is what I like. 
So I'm really happy with the way it's going and I'm happy to document this and share this with you guys. So this was kind of just a video out of the blue. I just wanted to do it. Um, I thought about doing it whenever I first quit and I thought, oh, that'd make a great, great video. But I never really had a reason to quit. And just now that I have, I'm going to continue going forward. This was just phase one. I'm going to continue to give you guys monthly updates of my health, of my progress, of my weights. Um, I'm kind of ashamed that I'm the heaviest I have been in my life. But since stopping Coca-Cola, I feel healthier. And to me, that is the one and only thing I am keep going for. That's my motivation right there. And I'm glad to do it. But anyways, I'll leave this video here. Hope you guys did enjoy. And if you did, please leave a thumbs up because it helps me out better. And mentally, I can now focus on my channel a lot more and my online store because I have that going too. So leave a comment if you'd like. I love reading your guys' comments and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.